Ryan Blaney crashes hard into the wall. NASCAR's Coke Zero Sugar 400 features a massive wreck. On Saturday night, during the NASCAR Cup Series Coke Zero Sugar 400, the big one happened at Daytona International Speedway. After the second stage, as the group moved into the front stretch, Christopher Bell seemed to give Ty Gibbs a slight prod. Gibbs became erratic and out of control, killing Ryan Blaney in the process. When Blaney hit the wall head-on, several other cars were entangled in the wreckage. On the NBC broadcast, an in-car camera made clear how severe the collision was. Three drivers were engaged in the one pocket of the collision, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Alex Bowman, and A.J. Almendinger. To get away from what was in front of them, several cars hooked up with one another. Riley Herbst, Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Chris Buescher, Austin Sindrick, Austin Dillon, and Harrison Burton were all involved. The collision involved 16 automobiles in all. As the cleanup team took care of the track, a red flag was raised. The red flag was raised during lap 96 of the race. Blaney declared himself, OK, and was allowed to leave the infield care facility. Brad Keselowski was able to emerge unhurt from the collision and take the Stage 2 victory. The first stage was won by Martin Truex Jr. Third place went to Daniel Suarez, who is vying for the last playoff slot. To move up to the last slot, he needs to win. Additionally, Bubba Wallace was a contender. He would enter the playoffs provided there was no new winner in the race.